So today, we got an important peek inside Donald Trump's corrupt administration. And it ain't pretty, and it ain't lawful. Let's talk about that. Because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So at today's White House press briefing, Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas dropped a bit of a bomb. Not that it was unexpected when he said the following, quote, to put it succinctly, the prior administration dismantled our immigration system in its entirety and he continued, quite frankly, the entire system was gutted. Contracts had been entered that were unlawful or against the interests of the United States Department of Justice. Close quote. Contracts were entered that were unlawful. Okay, so first of all, who is Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas? I hope I'm doing his name justice, because justice matters. Um, and what qualifies Secretary Mayorkas to determine that the Trump administration entered into unlawful, illegal contracts? Well, his bio is pretty impressive, but I want to focus on just one aspect of it. In the late 1980s, Alejandro Mayorkas was appointed as a federal prosecutor, an assistant United States attorney in California. In that capacity, his work included the successful prosecution of what was then the largest money laundering operation in the nation. It was called Operation Polar Cap. And he developed an expertise in prosecuting uh, white collar crimes. He also prosecuted healthcare and fraud crimes, um, offenses that preyed upon and victimized the elderly. And in 1998, he was presidentially appointed to be the United States Attorney for the Central District of California. So he has the experience, the qualifications, the background, the expertise to tell the American people that the Trump administration entered into unlawful contracts with our tax dollars. So the next logical question, in fact, the only next question, is who in the corrupt Trump administration entered into these illegal contracts and when will these people be charged? When will they be held accountable for illegally spending our tax dollars? So here's the thing. Part of the frustration that so many of us are experiencing involves the fact that Donald Trump and his criminal associates and his corrupt executive branch officials have not been held accountable. And that gnaws at we the people. Now don't get us wrong, thank goodness we now have honest, ethical, law-abiding leaders of our federal government. So thank you, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and Alejandro Mayorkas and the others. But now we need to rebuild trust and confidence in our federal government. And it's not just enough for today's federal government officials to be ethical, because to rebuild trust and confidence, today's ethical federal government must hold accountable yesterday's unethical, abusive, corrupt, criminal government officials for their crimes, including entering into unlawful contracts with our tax dollars. 
because justice matters.